everybody and welcome to Technology and Toys and today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to install Linux Mint or any other Linux distro on your Mac using Parallels 14. I've made a couple videos recently on how to do this with two versions of Windows, Windows 10 and Windows 7, but this can also be done with Linux distros and I'm going to show you how to do it today. First you're going to want to download your free trial of Parallels Desktop or if you own Parallels Desktop, you're going to want to install that. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. You're also going to want to go to linuxmint.com, click download. We're going to be using Cinnamon. I'm going to click 64-bit, and then you can download from whichever one of these repositories you want to. I've already downloaded it, so that way we can save some time here. And once both download, you're going to want to click on Parallels Desktop, and you're going to want to install that. It'll mount on your desktop. You want to click install.app, click open. You're going to want to accept the software license agreement and it'll prompt you to enter your admin password. So just punch that out real quick. It will remove any previous versions of Parallels Desktop that you have installed on your Mac if you have any. And it will copy the files from the installer to your Mac and then it will launch the application. Once you first start it up, it's going to ask you if you want to download and install Windows 10. We're going to click skip, but I made a video on installing Windows 10 prior to this. I'll have that linked up in the top right corner if you guys want to check that out. You want to click install Windows or another OS from a DVD or image file and click continue. You're going to scroll to find your Linux Mint ISO and click on that and then click continue. Then you can name this whatever you want. You can click to add a shortcut on the desktop, or you can customize your settings before you install. I'm just going to click create. And then it'll go through the automatic boot process. And then it will start up on the live rendering mode. And you can try out Linux here if you want. You can see what it's all about get a quick feel for it. We're going to skip that and we're going to go click install Linux Mint. I'm just going to bring up the install window and this is fairly straightforward for nearly every Linux distro. I've tried at least a dozen and this is pretty much the same experience every time I install it. You want to click your language and your keyboard. You can install third-party software for graphics, Wi-Fi, Flash, MP3, other media. I'm going to skip that because as soon as this video is done, I'm going to delete this VM because I don't need it. You're going to want to click erase disk and install Linux Mint. Uh, this will erase the VM drive that this is being run on and it's going to prompt you to make sure that you're 100% okay with overwriting everything on the disk and erasing it. Just click continue. You're going to want to set your time zone. You're going to want to put in your name and it will autofill your computer's name and your username, you can change that if you want. I'm gonna put in my password and then click continue. You can encrypt your home folder if you want. Again, I'm just doing the base install process because as soon as this video is done, I'm deleting this and then it will go through the process of installing Linux. And I'll speed this process up for you guys because this is probably gonna take a little while. Once the installation has finished, you can either continue testing Linux or you can click restart now to fully install the operating system. It's going to prompt you to remove the installation medium, which doesn't exist, so just click enter. And then once it restarts, just put in your password. And you'll be prompted with welcome to Linux Mint, welcome to your new operating system. This welcome screen will guide you through your first steps, show you how to find the help and where to get more information about Linux Mint. And you can scroll through like the first steps, documentation, help, and if you want to contribute to the Linux Mint team, you can. We'll close out of it and uh, we have full-fledged Linux Mint. Your home directory, your desktop, documents, music, pictures, videos, downloads, your file system, and everything in it. We'll launch Firefox and test to make sure everything's working, and it is. We'll go to youtube.com slash c slash technology toys. Firefox is critically out of date. That's, that's funny. And uh, you can watch some of my uh, YouTube videos. Now, as I've mentioned in the previous videos on this topic, 
Parallels Desktop is a paid application. Uh, you get a 14 day free trial and then it prompts you to upgrade or buy a license. A new license costs $80, and if you're upgrading from an older version of Parallels, it's only $50. And that kind of seems steep, but I'm going to reuse the same argument that I used in my past two videos. If you carry around multiple devices to have multiple operating systems, you can download this, install the operating system that you're carrying a second device for, and then run them all on one device and save you a bunch of stress and hassle and everything. I'll have a link to download both Linux Mint and Parallels Desktop 14 in the description. Thank you guys for for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe turn on notifications and comment what you think of linux what your favorite distro is be sure to let me know down below this has been jake with technology and toys and until the next video i'll see you guys later goodbye